Hi traders, Lucas here and today we'll talk about meta labeling. If you want to know more about this subject, just take a look into the description to find the 100% free newsletter of Quantrio and we have a full article talking about that. So first of all, let me explain you very easily the logic behind that and then we will explain all the possibilities that this logic will offer to us. The meta model is a machine learning model which is not here to create trading signal but its role will be to filter all the trading signal you will give it to him. For example, let's imagine that you have a lot of technical indicators based trading strategy. Your technical indicator based trading strategies generate some signals. You can create a machine learning that has the only goal of knowing if the trade we will take will be profitable or not. So its role, it's like a cup, okay? You will bring him many trading signals and he will say, okay, this one is not good, this one is good. And obviously, we have already an idea about the target we will use for this model. Of course, it's the triple barrier method from Marco Lopez de Prado that we have seen in the previous video. We will know if we enter into this position, we will touch the stop loss, the take profit, or it will take too much time to touch one of these two barriers. So obviously, the goal of this model is to remove all the false signal. Of course, we will never be able to do so, but at least we can minimize the odds to have a false signal because normally the false signal, the wrong trades, will not be able to pass thanks to this model. And it can seem difficult like that, but let me give you a quick example from the Quantrio library. So to do so, we can go on the tutorial part and we can see here we have a notebook called Meta Labeling Explained. So as I said, it's associated to a newsletter. If you want to have access to it 100% free, just click there or into the description of this video. So let me show you in action how it works. First, I import some libraries, NumPy, Pandas, and the features and target engineering package from Quantrio to create some features and to create my triple barrier frontier. I import also a data set. And first of all, I need to have a trading strategy. You can have a trading strategy based on a machine learning model for the first model, or you can have just a technical indicator based trading strategy or a price action or just a statistical model. You can have whatever you want, okay? The only thing you need is a model that will tell you, okay, you need to enter in position right now. And our goal is to add an additional layer using machine learning and our meta model to say if we need to keep or not this signal. So for this very basic example, I will just create a simple SMA crossover trading strategy. So I create it and here, as we can see, we have the crossover and here I just focus on the buying position, okay? And as we can see at each crossing, when the fast SMA goes up, we will have a signal to take a buy position. So that's our first trading strategy. Now we need to create the triple barrel labeling to evaluate this signal. So we just use the appropriate function and we will have our label there. Are we touching the stop loss, the take profit or the out of timing barrier? Here, I'm just creating some variables because the goal of this video is to increase the accuracy of this trading strategy. And of course, I need some features to give to the model. So I create some volatility features I create some price distribution, autocorrelation, and so on. So I take all of that, I apply there the same tricks as for the PCA trick, but instead of using a PCA, I'm just using the mean of all these features. So at the end, I have these few variables there. I create my list of features and target. I create only two sets there, a set of train and a set of test. Of course, if you're creating a very robust model, you need to add cross validation. You need to add much more tests. You need to integrate multiple assets. So you need to do much more things. Okay. But here we are into the simple version just to understand the logic. And then you can add all the advice I give you into the ML for training course, into my YouTube videos. You can apply all this advice to the meta model, which is a standard machine learning model, let's say, okay? So at the end, we have that, which is the features we will use, the signal 
from the training strategy, the original training strategy, so the SMA crossover, and the labeling. For example, here it means that if you have taken this position, we should lost money. Okay, same here, same here. Here, if we take the position, we earn money, etc. Okay, so after that, I have chosen to use uh, SVM because we have a very small number of observations. So we need to standardize always the values when we use a geometrical algorithm. So I'm doing that. And if I plot the accuracy of the meta model and the precision, it's better than the original signal. So it means that we have an added value using this model. Of course, it's not magic. Here it works, okay? I was very lucky, but we have many observations to do for this example. First of all, we had a very low number of observations. Second, we didn't use a robust analysis. We had a train set and a test set. And all we have done were simplify for this application just to give you a quick example about how it works. In the reality, you need to work much more about that, understand the impact of each feature to truly understand your model and be 100 confident when you will use it in live trading. I hope you like this video. If you have any question, feel free to drop it into the comments area and see you soon in the next video.